Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to try my best to show you how to use a power stretcher and how to feel when you have enough stretch in the carpet. I like to leave a space of about 6 to 8 inches from the wall or about the width of the stretcher head. That way, when you complete your stretch, you're not too far from the wall, but you still have enough space to push the carpet down onto the tack strip. Now the power stretcher has rows of pins that grip the carpet, so you don't have to put any pressure on the actual head of the stretcher, all the control is going to be used on the handle. So you don't just crank down on the stretcher unless the carpet is just unbelievably loose. What I'll do is I'll lift the head and have the handle in the middle and I'll start getting a feel for how loose the carpet is. Think of it like a rubber band and stretch it back and forth slowly until you can feel the resistance build up. Here you can see it's getting harder to push down and my handle is not all the way down. That means that I started too high so I need to release the stretch and start with the handle lower. What's nice about these stretchers is you can lock the handle so you can stop the stretch whenever you feel it's enough, but if you don't have that, you want to get a good enough feel of the stretch so you can push the handle all the way down right at the point where the carpet starts getting hard to stretch. I personally like having the handle down instead of locking it, that way it's not sticking up and in my way. Here you can see about an inch was stretched and this was only a 12 by 10 room. Then you just push the carpet down on the tack strip and release the power stretcher by pulling the handle up. Now the carpet's stuck on the tack strip and all that's left to do is trim the excess carpet, nice and tight. That's pretty much all there is for using a power stretcher, you just have to get a feel for using the handle. So to recap, just start with the handle in the middle and work the carpet back and forth to get a feel of how much you need to stretch and then just lock it down. Again, don't start with it at the top and crank down, start with the handle in the middle for the best results. Hopefully this helps someone start making better stretches. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and thanks for watching.